Yeah, very big welcome to you, my dear Sagittarius. The sun is in Taurus, and of course Taurus is that moment where we recognize that energetically we feel we want to ground ourselves, we want to look after the money, we want to take care of beauty and love because Taurus is ruled by Venus and Venus is beauty and love and all those beautiful things that we notice, right? When we start seeing how the spring time is now getting established, right? It's a fixed sign and so this energy can stifle us but also give us an energy that goes up, right? Out. And so the triangle is pointing up and that's why I gave Taurus or the Hierophant a movement. He's not standing here anymore between his two pillars. He's a movement. He's actually taking care of the things that really matter. And so Taurus is giving the light to Sagittarius and I put it to the right because we are reading to the right moon in Sagittarius is the moment where we come into the temperance where we come into the blending where we come into the understanding that the masculine and the feminine needs to, to be united and in that union we find our true strength but also our expansion because you are ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is the expanding is the bigness is the ideal right that we are looking for and so the combination today we have earth and fire we have a knight energy and here we have a king energy there could be a rebellious side that can be surfacing in this combination for you of course then i gave you Pashimottanasana, the forward bend, the upper and the lower body are getting united and in there we find deep within us the mystical perspective of what it means to be a guardian angel. So this today, sun in Taurus, moon in Sagittarius exists only once a year, but when we include all the other planets where they're placed or what house or what they're relating to each other then this moment exists really only once in your life you are here in the medicine woman tarot the eagle you're flying high you are the knight of fire and in that case you want to know how it feels when you go out there when you do what you're doing which is expanding, which is having the energy to take on any project, right? Is your birthday between the 13th of November and the 11th of December, then is this your court card? If not, you can look in the description below. I have listed all the cards there that I'm using and also all the... Um, court dates that we have you are Sagittarius the archer you are the one that discovers the worlds and you are also connected with the ninth house of learning and of philosophy and believing right believing that you have deep within this empowerment that you can use so back to the last reading where we had Aries Sun giving the Sagittarius Moon the light. The song of love has been in our hearts forever. You can sing it as well. So we see here the Nightingale. Aries was connected with Mars and the tower is Mars and so we looked through the tower into the spirit animals and you got the nightingale 
calling to the left, right, into the soul, because I do two weeks the reading to the left and two weeks the reading to the right, depending where the moon is going. If it's going to the full moon, I read to the right, extroverted. If it's going to the new moon, I read to the left, introverted. And so just that you understand that we are going to your full moon and that we are reading to the right. So we begin the reading, but before um, I want to pick a card for Venus because this month we look into Venus through Taurus, through the Hierophant and I have this beautiful deck. It's called the Inner Wise, the healing of yourself and there are all these different healing modalities. We have Bach flowers, we have crystals, we have animals, we have homeopathy, we have the Schüssler salts. So I'm just gonna pick a card and see what healing modality you can use. 286 is the number for Venus as that I can bring now beauty and love and also healing because she is the one that gives birth to the new energy that we can become when we get into the healing. 286, 2 is the High Priestess, 8 is the Strength and 6 is Gemini the lovers which is giving you the light in your next reading when the full moon is in your sign and so all together we get the two and the eight the ten the wheel of fortune plus the six the tower so the nightingale definitely was calling and then the seven is left the seven is of course the emotional intelligence that we gain after things leave us right it's really important that we understand when something needs to go it really needs to go and so here we just have every card is the same it's just a number inside the hexagram the lovers symbol right the triangle pointing up the triangle pointing down and here we have the chrysopras and the crystal press is connected with the crystals and the crystal press is trust in life. The world can again and again impress and even astonish us. The understanding how we can grow is being supported through this stone be present in the way you see this world and connect deeply and understand that you need to be honest with how you interact with the world. So trust in life, that life brings you exactly what you need and that the world can again and again bring us into the astonishment and of course also into the growth cycle so that we can evolve and learn whatever there is to learn. And I think that actually Taurus is bringing that to you now, that you see it's important to understand how the Tarot is functioning. There is astrology in there and we're going to have to see also then the seven is the emotional intelligence is left right and so we begin the reading the fool is saying that now the empress is coming to you and letting you know that you as an empress are the queen of queens and the number three 
is bringing you a clear understanding that deep within the Hierophant there is a three, there is a triangle, and that triangle is taking action upwards, is searching for the spiritual message going up, right? The red triangle going up, and the yellow triangle going down is literally like the spiritual message is there. It's down streaming, downloading all the time. We just need to take the action to get up there. And so the eagle perspective that she has here is quite important. And even her fingers look like claws here. Here it's like, you know, natural. Here it looks like claws, right? So... The fool is saying, always, there is this crazy idea deep within me where you feel like you are an empress. You feel like creating new things and I think you are going to act upon it because it's that deep feeling within you that you notice, okay, this is something I want because the fool is connected with Uranus and Uranus is the planet of new beginnings, new adventures. Then comes on the position of the magician here, the serpent. The serpent is the number 46. And so here we have for the emperor, Aries, and six, the lovers, Gemini which is your opposite sign. And so calculated together, we get the 10 and the 10 is a new cycle and the 10 and the one is the 11. And so you had Aries Sun in the last reading, right? And remember the song of love has been in our hearts forever. You can sing it as well. Here you see that the serpent is inspiring you to unite the emperor and the lovers, to create the wheel of fortune, to create new energy, plus the one is the 11 and the inner wisdom appears, the inner teacher appears. And so this is really beautiful because I wanted to see what is the serpent bringing to you. And you see one snake goes up and one snake goes down. And that's exactly the triangle, right? One points up and that's the head up here. And one points down and that's the head down here, right? So in a way, this is also the understanding of the hexagram. The hexagram is the two cups that you are blending the masculine and the feminine so the nine of discs is coming here and the nine of discs came reverse and when something comes reverse it's letting you know that you have to be aware that something is not there yet because the native indians don't say that it's a negative thing it's not there yet it's coming though and this is connected with Venus in Virgo. And Venus, right, has brought you the emotional intelligence, has brought you the two, the high priestess, the eight, the strength, and the six, the lovers. All together, we get the 16, which is the tower, back to Aries Sun, and the seven is left. And so... You feel that Venus through Virgo is bringing you something, a new awareness, right? Because the um, 11 here plus the 9 could be a date, the 11th of September or the 9th of November. So there's the 9-11 situation, right? And there's the 11-9 situation. And so you got to find for yourself which date works, right? And I do not calculate that together. But if I do it, the 20 comes up and the 20 is the last judgment. It's your calling to look deeper into why Venus is coming through Virgo reversed to you. Because when you see it upright, you see her in her tent having here four 
coins and five coins, the five senses. And because it's reversed, you have the five senses here and the four elements up here. So there's a difference, right, between here the five and the four. And here she's working on the ten. And the ten is Mercury in Virgo, which is a lot of money. But here you are in your own garden, your own empress, your own achievements but something is letting you know there is something not there yet right and so we're gonna look of course further because this is connected with mercury right mercury is inspiring the magician in us right and the magician says hey have a look at the Venus in Virgo situation, what is going on in your life, right? That you do not allow yourself to have that because the Empress is Venus as well, like the Hierophant, right? And so this is important that, that you really see that Venus has spoken through the Empress right at the beginning, right? That foolish idea that you are an Empress is not that foolish at all then speaks the high priestess and the high priestess says well here the four of swords is connected with the constellation jupiter in libra and libra is also connected with venus so venus is bringing you the seven the emotional intelligence but also the tower again see that it brings you the high priestess the strength and the lovers and so the meditation that comes through the four of swords jupiter which is your planet is speaking here through libra and libra is saying then you need to find deep in the way you think a balance right because you need to meditate it's almost saying you need to meditate because jupiter is your planet and libra is coming and libra is connected also with venus and venus is what brought you all these numbers right so have a deeper look at it and understand what all of this is really all about because the high priestess she's the seeker she looks at herself here she's really uh, beautiful the stream of consciousness passing her and she's looking at you and she's like yeah the four and the two creates the six then gemini is going to give you the full moon the last reading in the next reading is to the full moon and then you are arriving and you're understanding your mental state of consciousness is important because she's connected with the moon as well right and so you feel her she came through venus to you the two and you understand that there is a message here that wants to let you know observe and watch how everything is interconnected then speaks the empress and the empress brings you yourself sagittarius the guardian angel so it's really beautiful because you understand that she is saying you need to become now the guardian angel yourself right here she is sitting and she's pouring back and forth she's blending the masculine and the feminine and here it's like also but it's more like she really is an angel and it's something that needs to speak to you because you are understanding that the 14 calculates together becomes a five and the hierophant is the fifth major arcana so the five senses are talking here to you and the um, 3 with the 14 is the 17, and the 17 is Aquarius. The age of Aquarius, right? Always the kind of like, what's going on? Because Aquarius is the moment where we realize, yeah, we're looking up into the sky, and we see that there is now 
the possibility to connect with so many people all over the world but also the fake news situation can appear as well and so the 17 turns into an 8 the 8 is again the strength that you gain in the 8 here the strength that you gain by understanding how all of this is functioning and of course remember i can calculate here the 14 into 5 the 5 and the 3 is the 8 as well right so notice how these cards talk to you and how you can put your story inside of it then speaks taurus taurus is saying the high priestess is important the two is important that is here in this card and the two brought you the four of swords jupiter in libra and it's the lord of rest from strife it's all in your mind right and the four is the stability and the four is the four pentacles that are now here above right usually the four is down here it's the four elements and then here up here you have the five as the understanding there are different tribes different ways of expressing and all together we have nine pentacles and the nine is the completion this is the venus in virgo so here comes the five and the two the emotional intelligence the seven that came here through this card the two the eight and the six right and see again that the emotional intelligence is important because the 17 that we got here and calculates this together is the wheel of fortune and the seven the emotional intelligence creates the eight and so you understand that the emotional intelligence is something that you cannot buy it's something you have it and you learn it and you really understand it or you don't and so taurus is talking and the seven is appearing and the seven is saying that's cancer right the chariot see how emotionally intelligent you are and use it and see that you are a guardian angel and see that you need to do what you need to be doing because the two is the high priestess the high priest and the high priestess is the couple you see the two pillars one is black and one is white here it's gray right and of course i didn't do a pillar anymore i made the movement as the pillar then speaks the knight of fire the eagle and of course you came up so you came up twice you came up here on the position of the empress and the empress is strong and powerful is the triangle is the top of the triangle is here the tip and is here the tip of this triangle is the snake's head that goes up and is the snake's head that goes down right and so you have twice sagittarius framing the high priestess and on the high priestess you had meditation go within learn to understand who you really are learn to see that you find yourself deep within paschimottanasana learning to fold learning to unite within you and because you came up twice it's kind of like a sign right so you have a five five portal here but you are the ninth house or the ninth zodiac sign i see the nine and the five again the 14 and so you are here you are here and the five is left and that's where Taurus is coming in Taurus is almost like pushing something deep within you so that you can become who you are a guardian angel to yourself but then maybe to others because the eagle sees from the bird's eye perspective and then that's the tip of the triangle we look from above down into duality and we understand how everything is functioning
then it speaks Sagittarius. You, your soul perspective speaks to you. And since I have a German and an English deck, you can see now that you are having the seven of pipes and the seven of pipes is the seven of wands which is connected with mars in leo and so the seven like we had here all the numbers calculated together we get the emotional intelligence right and you had the emotional intelligence with taurus and the high priestess there is a spiritual message coming to you and this spiritual message is really important so observe and watch what you see from high above how you see yourself right pouring and blending the dualities and now you have yourself also looking down at the seven of wands which is like i said mars and leo and you don't have any other wands here so the seven and the 14 is the 21 and the 21 is the world then you are a guardian angel for the whole world because the seven of wands is courage to have courage to put the spirits away and she is here and she says no matter what i will be able to take the energy and push bad spirits away and then the three is left right the empress the three is left of the 21 of the world then you are guardian angel for the whole world because you had this crazy idea that you are an empress and that you are here for others and so look at this right so in a way it's like here you come up in your own reading in the center of your own reading because this is the central card the card that says this is you as a court card right you are the knight of wands and so the seven of wands it's like have the courage to fly high have the courage to see that you're a guardian angel then you can see that you as a guardian angel helps you to have the courage to to put away all the bad energies that are out there right and you are here to help people and it's beautiful because like i said the 21 is coming up the world and the three then the empress is left right so understand what's what's really talking here because then speaks the moon the moon as the dream oracle is coming to you here the stars in the sky limitless possibilities the 51 so in the 51 it's a reverse 15 the 15 is the capricorn energy the devil and so we have the five we have the hierophant right the five is always the five senses learn how the five senses work on you and the one is the magician and the magician brought you the serpent and again you have one head pointing up and one head pointing down right and here we have the 18 which is the 9 the 9 and the 6 when we calculate this together is Gemini the lovers is 15 so the 51 or the 15 right you understand that there is an, an attachment or a being cut off from being a star up in the sky and in your dreams you are learning to see that the limitless possibilities may be something that you dream about but you don't think you can live it in this world but you need to awaken to your own power right because the 15 the 6 is left and so the 6 is gemini giving you the light to see that you are then the full moon that you are able to show yourself and i wanted to see what possibilities are coming and the fool arrived but facing down and the fool is taking a headstand there's the amnamita muscaria there's the crocodile there are so many important signs in here but it's reverse and of course the nine of pentacles was in reverse so there is something not there yet you cannot be yet um, a, a, an empress in your own garden right venus in virgo and you're learning 
to understand that the 6 and the 0 is the 60. And you had here the 3 and the 0, which is the 30. And the 30 is like being an empress and, and seeing the, this foolish moment that has come through the empress to you, like, I can be someone of importance. And here I have all possibilities and I have here the fool that is letting me know, yes, I can be a star up in the sky. It's not such a foolish idea. I am, I am dreaming about that because the grandmother is planting the seed. It's our ancestors. It's so important that we understand who we are, what is our lineage, right? And seeing that there are messages coming through and that you can be in that emotional intelligence, right? And then the six comes here and lets you know, yes, I can do this. Because then the sun is saying, here in this deck, it's rebirth, comes the lake. Then when you're up in the sky and understand that you can be a star up in the sky. And remember, you had the star with the 17 the Empress, and here you, the Guardian Angel, you are a star, the 17, because that's Aquarius, right? And so here, the Sun is a Dwarf Star, is the number 19, turns into a 10, and here we have the number 31, which is then the Empress and the Magician and the 4. So the 10 and the 4, what is that? You, 14 you you can then dive down into who you are you can be up a star but be, you can also be deep down under the water and realize who you are because the 10 and the 4 is the 14 and the 5 is left remember always the 5 the five senses, the Hierophant needs to learn through the five senses right and there came the high priestess the number two the dualities is left and the duality was here in the two in the healing through the crystal that came up here in this reading through this card that you trusting life brings you the right uh, moments you go up but you also need to go down into the lake and trust that in that depth you find who you are but also up in the sky you find who you are and this is what the new moon and the full moon is here's the full moon and here's the new moon in the new moon we dive down and we recognize who we really are on in the dark us and here in the light us but i want to see what is coming up here and you get the four of cups reverse so all of your circular cards the clarification cards since they're circular they can come up in any direction you have all of them reverse coming up and the, the four of cups is connected with moon in cancer and we had the seven which is the chariot the cancer card right and we had the seven here through Taurus, letting you know Cancer is the healer. And so the sun, the 10 and the four is the 14, the four and the four of cups. And it's really interesting because the diving down and the four of cups, it's always like letting you know you are the bearer of your own energies right and reverse it's like yes you're diving deep down and you allow yourself to be moon in cancer and so we have the 18 and the 18 is the moon and you feel the moon and the moon is going to bring you up but the moon is also going to bring you all the way down so learn to work with it learn to work up in the sky and be really like everybody's seeing you oh look at the full moon but when the new moon is appearing, knowing is saying, oh, look, the new moon. No, but the new moon is where you plant the seed, right? And so the 18 turns into the 9. And the 9 we had here with the 9 of Pentacles, Venus in Virgo. And so you have a 9 here. And the 9 is saying, well, learn to dive deep. Right, because the 18 is appearing, but you also appearing in here. Let yourself dive deep and then see what the moon is bringing to you. I feel it. Each reading is so interesting. Sometimes I'm like, 
I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes I feel very emotional. Sometimes I feel very detached. It depends. But I do the reading really on the day the moon is in your sign. And so I feel the energy and the nine is appearing and letting you know the nine is a completion. Feel the completion. Because then the world is saying, right, the dancer is saying, then the new money is coming. Then the ace of pentacle is coming. Then the pentacle that she's working on here is appearing. Even though it's reverse, it's coming. You will have 10 coins. That's a lot of money. You need to, though, understand who you are. You need, though, to understand the nine here. And you need to understand this nine, why it's reverse with here, the serpent, the 10. It's a 19. It's also the sun and the one of the magician, right? The 20. It's your calling to go deeper, but also to shine like a star, right? Stars in the sky, limitless possibilities, right? The six that appeared here. And of course, also the 15, which is Capricorn, the attachment to certain belief systems. You are now called to liberate yourself from that and to follow the moon and the planets and not follow something that is attaching you to something that is not sustainable and so the world right the 21 that came through temperance and the seven of wands the 21 came here the world is yours you are the guardian angel that is protecting the world see that you are now called to have the 21 of the world plus the one is the 22. And what is the 22? The fool. The fool is the zero and the 22nd major arcana. She is looking into the empress and the empress knows how to make new money. This is holy money. This is money that is important to make because it's blessed money. And the Ace of Pentacles is looking at the Empress. And so the 22 that is appearing here with the world and the Ace is literally saying yes. Then you understand why you get the feeling of being an Empress. And the reading is closing because I'm just going to put this down. Right? Because then you also understand the emotional intelligence that is coming here through the Seven. And the 7 plus the 3 is a 10. And the 10 plus the 1 is the 11. The inner teacher is appearing. The 11 is appearing. The 11 is also here, right? Then in the next, the magician, the 11. And the 11 is saying, you know why you're getting all these cards the way they are coming up. Because you understand all of a sudden everything is just right. I am an empress and I am taking charge of this world. I can see now from high above that I am a guardian angel. From up here I can see how big I am. So use the meditation and see the world from the bird's eye perspective. Because then you get the courage to do what you need to be doing for the world, right? Because this is connected with Mars in Leo. And Mars is the fighter. Mars is fighting for the good stuff, right? In Leo, right? The fun and the enjoyment. And seeing that there is a diving deep down, but there is also at the same time being up a star. And so you see here the 11, the inner intelligence, the inner wisdom is coming and letting you know you are going to make money if you clear, if you understand how the numbers work on you and the Empress is here and you know, yes, this is me. I am not having a crazy thought. I am through Venus now recognizing that I am an Empress and an Empress can create simply anything. Beautiful. I hope I see you in the next reading. That's when we get your full moon, right? That's when Gemini is giving you the light for your full moon. Until then, I thank you so much for being with me. 
namaste.